Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new. Today is the finale of the Lord of the Rings Project Pan. So everything you need to know about this project is down below. Um, I'm not sure if it's gonna be here next year. I mean, technically if you wanna do it, you can do it. There's not really any rules um, to participate, so feel free to do so. I'm not going to be doing this project next year. Um, I have found that prompt-based projects are quite difficult for me, with the exception of hashtag beauty chest, which I have filmed my round two intro to. Um, that one's been going smoothly. This one was a little bit harder for me, and I felt like I kept getting prompts that I did not really have products for or were the same products every time for different prompts. So um, yeah, I don't have the biggest makeup collection in my opinion. I have a lot of eyeshadows, so it's mostly that, um, which is maybe why prompt-based projects aren't the easiest for me, I don't know. Anyway, we're doing the update today, the finale. Also, I don't really know what went on. I was like really into the festive Christmas mode this morning when I woke up and I was very excited for it. And then it just switched to my um, grungy twilight, I don't know, look, um, feel, I don't know what to call that. I was very nostalgic feeling. Um, I read my Twilight fanfics yesterday, which may have been contributing to um, how I'm feeling right now. So this look came out very dark and grungy. I don't know. We're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> I don't really know what this mood is that I'm feeling. But let's check out all of my products that were still in this project. Um, and let's see how I did. The first prompt, and the one that has been in since the beginning, is the prompt Eowyn, something you didn't expect to love. And I rolled in my Essence lip balm. I wanted to finish this. Um, I did not do that. I don't know if you can tell, but honestly I don't know if it's all product or if there is also air in here still, but we're a long ways from using this up. I did use it 12 times this month for a total of 82 uses in the project, which is pretty good. I don't know. I'm not really sure if I rolled this out last time, but for the prompt Lambas, I was working on my Essence Mascara. It's the Maximum Definition Volume Mascara. I think I said that I wanted to use this up and honestly, it's still going relatively strong. It is getting drier. Um, if you have seen my beauty bank update, I did actually count this as finished because I've been using it for longer than three months and it, I still like it, but it's more so that I always have a hard time switching mascaras. Um, I don't have this particular one anymore. Um, and I'm just afraid that another one isn't gonna perform as well as this one. <clears throat> so maybe that's why I kept using it. But I have used this 53 times over the span of the last month or two um, for a total of 110 uses in about three months. I think this has been in for the third month now. So it is time to um, let this go. Then for the prompt tree beard, something nature themed, themed, I rolled in my Micah Beauty Shop Serpent Palette. This is what that looks like. Stunning palette. And I want to do no pan left behind, so use every shadow at least once. I did not quite do that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six shadows that I did not use. Honestly, I'm not really sure. I think I did not use this matte brown. These redder tones I did not touch. 
and then this what is that like a mauvey pinky and the purple all the other shades i did use these are stunning shadows i'm actually wearing this shadow transformation on my lid today as a topper um it has a crazy red to yellow gold sheen flip i don't know what you would call it and also um some of these shadows are now in my pound those eyeshadows so if you haven't seen that i just realized <laughs> you can see my cat chilling right there He's just facing the radiator because it's on. I just turned it on, so he's just chilling there. <laughs> it's so cute. Let's see if... Look at him. <laughs> A little loaf of bread. Cute. Okay. <laughs> so, like I said, some of these uh, shadows I've rolled into my Pamela's eyeshadows. So, I will be um, still working on this palette but obviously this project is ending, so not in this project anymore. Then for the prompt Golem, something gray, I rolled in my Juvie's Place Magic Mini Palette and I was working on the shade Yamoya, which is this silver gray. Um, as you can see, it did not manage to hit pan, which kind of sucks. I also used it today um, in this grungy look. I have used it a total of eight times since last update and before that I used it once so a total of nine wasn't able to hit pan but I think I will try outside of this project or maybe even any project to still hit pan in it because there is quite a dip so we shall see then for the prompt Mary something that makes you feel young slash nostalgic I rolled in the Beauty Bay Disney Dumbo palette to use no pan left behind. I did not touch this. Um, these are just very summery colors. I wasn't feeling like using them, so I didn't, sadly, but that's that. <laughs> Nothing more to say about that. Then for the prom Rohan, something green, I rolled in my Glam Shop single in the shade military to hit pan and you can see I was able to do that this already had quite a dip going um, so it wasn't too hard to hit pan these shadows also are very soft and quite powdery so um, not the hardest to hit pan on um, I have used that three times to hit pan so that already tells enough it had quite a dip when I rolled it in so that's why it was easy to hit pan on then the next prompt was the fellowship something you with you were influenced to buy now I rolled in my Jeffree Star velour liquid lipstick in the shade allegedly to use five times um, I only used it once I was wearing it in I think a couple of my videos that I filmed a while back. Not really sure which ones. If I remember, I will link one um, in the cards. It is a fine lipstick. I like it. It's very solid. Like it stays on for a long, long time. It doesn't really transfer, but it just. I'm not very good at using lip products, so. That's why I didn't really use it as much. Then for the prompt, Minds of Moria, something buried in your collection. I took out the Dragon's Heart highlighter from Revolution, which looks like this. And I wasn't really sure when I rolled it in, honestly. I wasn't really sure if I was going to like it. But this makes a very nice little blush topper um so i really really enjoyed it i actually used it seven times over the span of the last month instead of five so that's pretty good um i don't know if i'm ever going to be able to finish something like this 
but it is good to know that I enjoy using it so I can keep it in my collection and hopefully use it a little bit more. And then the last prompt was The Great Eye, an eye product. I rolled in an eyeshadow palette because I have a lot of those. This is the Flormar eyeshadow palette in the shade Obsession. Um, it has some nice neutrals. And I wanted to use this five times. I said I wanted to use more than just this highlighty shade and I did not. Honestly, I just used this shadow right here and I've used it six times over the last month. You can see there's a slight, slight dip starting to form. I have honestly no idea how deep these pans are, um, but I do enjoy that one shade. I cannot say anything about the other ones. Haven't used them yet. But this one is also um, well, rolling out. This is the end of the project. So I really hope you enjoyed this project. It will not be returning to my channel uh, next year. But I would definitely see if maybe other people want to do it. If you want to do it, please let me know. Because I would watch updates on this project. I love Lord of the Rings. I'm actually going to be meeting... Elijah Wood this weekend, which I'm very nervous about. If you're seeing this, I've already met him. It was amazing, I think, I hope. 12-year-old um, me is so excited, I could scream because I was obsessed with this man. Obsessed, that's an understatement, okay? Still kinda am, there's a little spot in my heart reserved <laughs> for him um so yeah okay I'm getting really sidetracked really nervous thinking about it but it it was amazing pretty sure it was thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe go check out my channel for any other project that i'm doing um there's more to come next year I'm planning to film a planning to pan like what projects you can expect on my channel. So stick around for that if you're interested. And other than that, thanks again for watching. I will hopefully see you in one of my next ones. Bye.